Hello everybody and welcome to Nancy Drew Stay Tuned for Danger. So this game is the second installment in the Nancy Drew series and this will be our last game that doesn't have any sound. So that's exciting. So we're going to start a new game and guess what? Junior Detective. So it just skipped the entire introduction letter so I'll give you the lowdown. So Nancy, aka us, were invited to New York City to help investigate some death threats. So we are helping out a soap opera star named Maddie Jensen and her co-worker Rick Arlen is the one receiving these death threats. So I think Maddie is like involved with Aunt Eloise somehow from Secrets Can Kill. But we're going to start off at Maddie's lovely home and figure out what the heck is going on and what the heck we're helping with. So we will explore her home later, but right now we are going to talk to lovely Maddie and she is going to act as our contact. So now that she is welcoming us here to New York and thanking us for coming on such short notice, um, we're just gonna get right down to it and just jump right into these death threats. So for the past month, her co-star Rick Arlen has been getting death threats. So at first everybody shrugged it off, but now they're starting to get weird. So we're going to ask, how weird? And so it looks like he's gotten letters, somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then something happened with the teleprompter. I just want to know about all of this. This is crazy. So we're going to ask about the teleprompter first. It looks like they were recording a scene for their soap opera. And then all of a sudden her lines read, you're going to die a horrible death, Rick. And everybody thought that it was a sick joke, but nobody admitted to doing it. Crazy that they would think that one of their own crew members has that much of a sick sense of humor. Um, we're going to ask about the poison chocolates. It looks like Rick loves chocolate, so everybody sends him some, but he spit these chocolates out. So because he spit these chocolates out, they're poisonous. So because, unless they were dark chocolate, because dark chocolate is nasty, but you know, whatever. We're going to talk about the letters. So Maddie is saying that the letters, like used to spell out the words in the letters, have been cut out of magazines like on a ransom note and they're all signed by B.T. Kaiser. So who could that be? That is an interesting name. Very unique. And then we're gonna ask if Rick's gone to the police and she says that he has not because he thinks that nothing will ever hurt him. Well Rick, I hate to break it to you but nobody is invincible. And then Maddie is going to be leaving us because she has to get down to the studio, but she'll leave us a visitor's pass. So that's nice of her. And then she just gave us a copy of her house keys so that we can get back inside, which is very thoughtful because getting back inside to the place we're staying at, that's always useful. All right, so we are going to explore lovely Maddie's apartment. And would you look at this? It's a script. From her show, Light of Our Love. Let's take a look-see. So, scene one. Rory, that is Rick Garland's character, finds himself alone in Serena's townhouse. Among some books and magazines, Rory picks up a diary on a coffee table. Serena enters. Serena is Maddie Johnson, by the way, if you did not come to that conclusion. So, I'm going to act this out because I can. Oh, Rory, you scared me. What are you doing here? I was hoping to find you here. I've been making myself right at home, love. I see you found my personal diary. Ooh, suspense while my computer loads this. Well, yeah, you left it out on the table for all the world to see. What was I supposed to do? Well, you could have shown a little respect for my privacy and left it alone. You know me better than that. Your business is my business, babe. End scene. Honestly, could send this as an audition because that was probably the best acting I've ever done in my life. So just a natural talent that I happen to possess. And look at these pictures. 
Some of these pictures are hilarious. I don't know why this baby always cracks me up, but it does for some reason. Just look at its face. Just, oh my goodness. And if you'll notice, this is a, re or this is a picture of Rick and Maddie, but their computer-generated faces are pasted onto real bodies, which is a common theme in the photographs in this game, which just makes for hilarity to ensue. So it looks like we have a TV right here, and we will need to find a remote to turn that on. Oh my goodness, and it's a Soap Star Award! Seriously, if I was a Nancy, I would just pick this up and just practice my acceptance speech. Kind of like that episode in Friends where Joey steals that soapy that he accepted on the behalf of that girl. You know. And there's another picture of computer faces, but real bodies. My favorite! See, this one isn't as good just because it's her whole real body. But these pictures over on this table are some of my favorites. Like, look at Rick's amazing jorts. Incredible. See, that one? That one's okay. But this one is probably my favorite. <laughs> because I can't even handle this. It's just, oh my goodness, it's so great. And I know it's one of the earlier games, so I can't judge it too hard. But it really does just give me joy. It's just the little things. So right here, we have a celebrity gossip magazine. And according to this article, Rick Arlen is potentially leaving worldwide broadcasting and breaking his contract with them. And that is the studio that produces Light of Our Love, aka their soap opera. Which, hello, Rick, we need you as Rory Danner. Silly goose. Wanting to go to Hollywood instead of New York? What will we do about that? What will our suspects do about that? Then we have more pictures. Classic author pose right here. Amazing. I love these pictures. <laughs> then we've got our remote right here for when we need to access our TV. And another magazine. And this one just has an article with Maddie in it. Kind of boring. No offense to Maddie, but it doesn't really have anything important. She's talking about her mom, though, and how her mom was kind of a stage mom, but that they're best friends now when asked about their relationship. But if you'll see, we have a letter right here from Maddie's mother. Let me read it, but it does show quite the contrary to what Maddie said in that article. <clears throat> Maddie, I'm writing this letter because you never call me. You can't be that busy not to phone your poor mother, can you? I saw your photo on Soap Opera Journal at the store. You'd think that my own daughter would at least send me a copy. I was devastated to see that your picture is so much smaller than Rick's. What makes him more important than you? Darling, you must remember that you are the real star. Pause for dramatic effect of that show, and it's about time we show the world that you are number one. I will not allow you to ever play second fiddle to that man. Without your talent, he'd be nothing. Remember that, and remember the person who paid for all your acting lessons for all those years? Mother. So apparently, either Maddie has a really skewed definition of being best friends, or she just said that for the, for the peeps. And then we have an RSVP card to a soap opera gala. If only we were invited. <sighs> then we've got a calendar here with an eye that like disappears. And I still have yet to figure out what the purpose of that is. And of course a picture of Rick because he's fantastic. Oh, I did not want to pick that up twice. But you know, I just wanted to see it again. In a love letter, who could this be from? From Rick! My goodness, two whole love notes of nothing but just the cheesiest, I don't even know, the cheesiest words of the English language all sewn together. That was a really weird way of wording that. But it looks like Maddie and Rick either are or were an off-screen couple as well as on-screen. How adorable is that? But according to this letter, Maddie... You know, she might be struggling with this. I mean, look at all these scratch marks, all of these additions. 
and she's mentioning that Rick is afraid of commitment and trying to play the confirmed bachelor, but she knows that he's looking for something else, for something more, and that she is ready for this commitment, according to this last line. So looks like Maddie's trying to get in on this Rick action. Can't blame her. He's a very... I don't even know. He's a dreamboat, apparently, in this game. And here we have more of these amazing mutant computer slash real people photos, aka my favorite photos of all time. So I think it's time that we head on over to the lovely studios of Worldwide Broadcasting! What an ethereal vision. Let's enter. Oh my goodness. And right when we're here, meet Rick Arlen in person. Well, we don't even need like a contest or whatever that is to do that. Oh my goodness. And in these magazines, some of the letters have been cut out. And if you'll recall, some of those death threats had the letters like cut out and pasted. So could our culprit be working from the inside? There's no like easy word for somebody sending death threats, I feel like. Not like murderer or stalker. It's just a person who writes death threats. And if you'll notice, this is our security man named Ralph. He's not a very important character. We literally only see him to come through the building. So we're going to tell him that we have a visitor's pass and then we'll sign in. So again, very unimportant character. We do not need to worry about him or concern ourselves with him. And this lovely lady is Mildred Strawthorn. She is the founder of WWB and we will meet her later in the prop room. All right. Hmm, and here at the door of William Pappas, 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 we overhear his conversation because somebody doesn't know how to use their inside voice. And it looks like, I don't know, he could be talking about Rick here, that nobody breaks the contract with Bill Pappas and that he will kill him before he runs out on him. But in those magazines, Rick was debating leaving WWB Worldwide Broadcasting. And I love these pictures of random people. Look at those glamour shots. I want some just like them. All right, so let's head on over to Maddie's dressing room and have a little chat. Oh, I'm glad we could make it too because now I just, I feel like we're in the presence of so much talent. So we're gonna ask her to tell us more about Rick and she's known Rick since she started acting when she got her big break with a touring production of Romeo and Juliet. And they played Romeo and Juliet. And now they play Rory and Serena. Oh my goodness. Let's ask how long they've been a couple. And they started dating when they were doing Romeo and Juliet. Oh my gosh. So precious. We're going to ask if somebody who's jealous could have done this. And she makes a horrible joke that the evil twin brother on Light of Our Love could be behind this. And then she tells us it's a joke and it's not funny at all. And that line always bugs me so much. I don't even know why. And she has no idea who could be behind this. Well, Maddie, me neither. And she's going to leave us again because all of the conversations in this game end really abruptly. I don't know why. Usually you end them by yourself, but she just leaves. So I'm going to end this video right here. So next video, we are going to explore Maddie's lovely dressing room and snoop around to our heart's content. And then we are going to get to see a scene from Light of Our Love be filmed. So I feel like I just want to end every video from this series. I just want to end it saying stay tuned for danger because that is the title of the game. And it's also very appropriate. It makes sense in this setting. So watch out for the next video and stay tuned for danger. Thanks for watching.